हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल जर्नी विथ विजय कुमार श्रीवास्तव टुडे माय प्रेजेंटेशन टाइटल इज जेनेटिक इंजीनियरिंग इन एग्रीकल्चर बिफोर प्रेजेंटेशन आई वुड लाइक टू इंट्रोड्यूस माय सेल्फ आई एम विजय कुमार श्रीवास्तव आई हैव कंप्लीटेड एम एस एग्रीकल्चर विथ स्पेशलाइज इन एग्नोमी फ्रॉम जी बी पंत यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर एंड टेक्नोलॉजी पंत नगर इन नाइनटीन एंड प्रेजेंटली आई एम वर्किंग एज ए जॉब प्रोफेशनल इन एग्रीकल्चर इंडस्ट्री सो लेट्स प्रोसीड टू द प्रजेंटेशन वाट इज जेनेटिक इंजीनियरिंग जेनेटिक इंजीनियरिंग ऑल्सो कॉल्ड जेनेटिक मॉडिफिकेशन और जेनेटिक मैनिपुलेशन इज द डायरेक्ट मैनिपुलेशन ऑफ एन ऑर्गेनिज्म जीन यूजिंग बायोटेक्नोलॉजी इट इज ए सेट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजीज यूज टू चेंज द जेनेटिक मेकअप ऑफ सेल्स इंक्लूडिंग द ट्रांसफर ऑफ जीन्स विद इन एंड एक्रॉस स्पीसीज बाउंड्रीज टू प्रोड्यूस इम्प्रूव्ड और नोवेल ऑर्गेनिज्म्स न्यू डी एन ए इज ऑप्टेंड बाई आइदर आइसोलेटिंग एंड कॉपिंग द जेनेटिक मेटेरियल ऑफ इंटरेस्ट यूजिंग रिकम्बिनेंट डी एन ए मैथड्स और बाई आर्टिफिशियली सिंथिसाइजिंग द डी एन ए ए कंस्ट्रक्ट इज यूजली क्रिएटेड एंड यूज टू इंसर्ट दिस डी एन ए इन टू द होस्ट ऑर्गेनिजम्स एज एग्रीकल्चर इज कंसर्न इन जेनेटिक इंजीनियरिंग ऑल द क्रॉप्स इम्प्रूवड विथ ट्रांसफर्ड डी एन ए टू डेट हैव बीन डेवलप्ड टू एड फार्मर्स टू इंक्रीज प्रोडक्टिविटी बाई रिड्यूसिंग क्रॉप डैमेज फ्रॉम वीड्स डिजीजेज एंड इंसेक्ट्स Genetically modified organisms or GMO. When conducting genetic engineering, the organisms that have their genetic makeup altered are referred to as genetically modified organisms or GMO. During the process of genetic engineering, a piece or several pieces of DNA are altered to change a characteristic about the organism. If DNA is inserted, it can come from another individual with the desired characteristics it can come from a different species or it could be artificially produced now we will study about transgenic crop or gm crop the plants in which foreign genes have been introduced through genetic engineering are called transgenic plant a crop whose genetic characteristics have been altered by the insertion of a modified gene or a gene from another organism using the technique of genetic engineering is called genetically modified or gm crops or transgenic crop there are various methods of gene transfer like isolate and clone gene of interest after that add dna segment to initiate gene expression add selectable markers transformation select transformed cells or tissues and regenerate whole plants so different technologies and various methods are used for genetic engineering here to study the necessity of genetically modified crop why genetically modified crops were introduced genetically modified crops were introduced to create desired characteristics or traits for crops which are beneficial like developing resistance to insect pests and diseases creating resistance to herbicides increase crop yields reduce cost for food production stability in production of agriculture crops economic and social benefits greater food security and alleviation of poverty and hunger resistance to harsh environmental condition improved product shelf life increased nutritional value and production of valuable goods such as pharmaceutical drugs genetically modified organisms are the source of genetically modified foods and crops and are also widely used in scientific research and to produce goods other than food there are various process of development of genetically modified or transgenic crop which to be followed like identifying the genes for the in setting the desired characteristics giving a desired trait making copies of the gene transfer to the plant tissues regenerate plants live analysis and safety testing for ad adaptability development of a variety after that field test to be conducted approval by government agencies and monitoring of safety measures so these are the various steps which are involved in development of gm crops now we will go through a status of commercial genetically modified crops transgenic crops have been planted in different countries for over 20 years 
starting from 1996 globally there are over 25 countries that are involved in producing genetically modified crops the united states is responsible for producing almost half of the genetically engineered crops planted worldwide and currently devotes over 40% of us cropland to these modified crops about 192 million hectares area was planted in 2018 to transgenic crops with high market value such as herbicide tolerant soybean maize cotton and canola and insect resistant maize cotton potato and rice and virus resistant squash and papaya although many crops have been genetically engineered over the years there are three crops corn soybean and cotton that are the focus of genetic engineering in the united states about 80% of corn and cotton and 93% of soybean are produced are genetically modified crops with genetic engineering more than one trait can be incorporated or extract into a plant transgenic crop with combined traits are also available commercially this includes herbicide tolerant and insect resistant maize soybean and cotton here the graph represents the contribution of genetically modified crops to the total agriculture crops on global basis the gm crop is contributing around 3.4% to agriculture land while non gm agriculture land is about 96.6% as per the data fao and isa 2013 the total agriculture land in world is about 5 billion hectare and the area under gm crops is 170 million hectares which is around 3.4% and non gm crops is contributing 96.6% country wise share of world's 3.4% gm crops is divided in major countries like usa is contributing 40.8% brazil is having the share of 21.4% argentina is sharing 14% canada is contributing around 6.8% india having the role of 6.3% contribution china 2.3% and other 22 countries are having the share of 8. 3% Here the data show the status of genetically modified crops globally in 2013 the total contribution of gm crops area was around 170 million hectares in 2014 it was 181.5 million hectares and it increased to 192 million hectares in 2018 is the area covered in different countries united states ranks number 1 position having the area of 73.1 million hectares in 2014 and the crops covered are maize soybean cotton canola sugar beet alfalfa papaya and squash second position occupied by brazil which is contributing 42.2 million hectares and the crops involved soybean maize and cotton third place is having argentina which is having the gm crop area of 24.3 million hectares and the biotech crops are soybean maize and cotton india is having on position of fourth rank which is having the area of around 11.6 million hectares and only one crop which is regulated in country is cotton crop and fifth position is canada which is having the share of 10.8 million hectares area and the crops under biotech is canola maize soybean and sugar beet this is the data from 2014 how the genetically modified foods is playing important role these gm crops are having the potential to solve many of the world's hunger and malnutrition problems these are required to help protect and preserve the environment by increasing yield and reducing reliance upon chemical pesticides and herbicides yet there are many challenges ahead especially in the areas of safety testing regulation international policy and food labeling many people feel that genetic engineering is the inevitable wage of the future and that we cannot afford to ignore a technology that has such enormous potential benefits however we must proceed with caution to avoid causing unintended harm to human health and the environment 
नाउ टू स्टडी द एप्लीकेशंस ऑफ प्लांट जेनेटिक इंजीनियरिंग इन एग्रीकल्चर इट इज प्लेइंग वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रोल इन डेवलपिंग वेरियस ट्रेड्स एंड करेक्टरिस्टिक्स इन क्रॉप प्लांट्स लाइक फर्स्ट वन इंसेक्ट रेजिस्टेंस सेकेंड हर्बिसाइड रेजिस्टेंस थर्ड वायरस रेजिस्टेंस फोर्थ साल्ट रेजिस्टेंस करेक्टरिस्टिक्स फिफ्थ सीड स्टोरेज प्रोटीन्स इंडक्शन सिक्स बायोकेमिकल प्रोडक्शन इन प्लांट्स सेवन्थ इडिबल वैक्सीन क्रिएशन एट्थ ए बायोटिक स्टेट टोलरेंस करेक्टरिस्टिक्स लाइक कोल्ड ड्रॉट टोलरेंस एंड वेदर गार्ड जीन्स इंडक्शन आफ्टर दैट नाइन्थ इम्प्रूवड न्यूट्रिशनल क्वालिटी लाइक हैविंग हायर प्रोटीन कंसनट्रेशन हायर लेवल्स ऑफ विटामिन इन मिनरल्स देन टेंथ डिलेड फ्रूड ड्राइपेनिंग इलेवंथ बायोफार्मास्यूटिकल्स एंड वैक्सीन प्रोडक्शन ट्वेल्थ एल्ट्रेड ऑयल कंटेंट इन डिफरेंट क्रॉप्स एंड थर्टींथ पॉलन कंट्रोल सो दीज आर द वेरियस एप्लीकेशंस हेर टू स्टडी अबाउट एंटी इंसेक्ट स्ट्रेटी और इंसेक्ट रेजिस्टेंस विच इज वन ऑफ द इम्पोर्टेंट आउटकम ऑफ जेनेटिक इंजीनियरिंग इन एग्रीकल्चर दिस ट्रेट इज डेवलप फ्रॉम बेसलेस थ्रंगेसिस बैक्टीरिया दिस टाइप ऑफ जेनेटिक इंजीनियरिंग वर्क लाइक एन इंसेक्टिसाइड विच इज ए पेस्टिसाइड दैट टारगेट्स अनवॉन्टेड इंसेक्ट्स बिकॉज वेन द इंसेक्ट्स कंज्यूम द क्रॉप दे विल बी इन्फेक्टेड बाई द बैक्टीरिया एंड विल गेट सीक एंड इवेंचुअली डाई इट इज इस्टिमेटेड अबाउट फिफ्टीन परसेंट ऑफ वर्ल्ड्स क्रॉप इल्ड इज लॉस्ट थ्रो इंसेक्ट्स वेस्लेस थ्रेंगेंसिस इज ए ग्राम निगेटिव सोयल बैक्टीरियम विच प्रोड्यूसेस परास्पोरॉल क्रिस्टेलिन प्रोटीनस सब्सटेंसेस टॉक्सिन विथ इंसेक्टिसाइडल एक्टिविटी वेन द बी टी टॉक्सिन जीन वॉज इंट्रोड्यूस्ड इन टू इकोनॉमिकली इम्पोर्टेंट क्रॉप प्लांट्स दे डेवलप रेजिस्टेंस फॉर मेजर इंसेक्ट्स ओवेटिंग द नीड फॉर यूज ऑफ इंसेक्टिसाइड्स बी टी टॉक्सिन ओपन कैटाइन सेलेक्टिव पोर्स इन मेम्ब्रेन्स लीडिंग टू इन्फ्ला ऑफ द कैटाइंस इन टू द सेल्स दैट कॉजेज ऑस्मोटिक लाइसिस एंड डिस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ इपिथिलियल सेल्स बीटीजीन्स कुड बी एक्सप्रेस्ड इन ऑल पार्ट्स ऑफ प्लांट्स देर आर टॉक्सिक क्रिस्टल्स फाउंड ड्यूरिंग एस्परोलेसन एल्कलिन प्रोटीन डिग्रेड्स गट वाल्स ऑफ लेपिडोप्टेरन लार्वा इंसेक्ट्स एग्जाम्पल्स आर लाइक कॉर्न बोरर कटर पिलर्स कॉटन बलवार्म कटर पिलर्स टोबेको हॉर्न वार्म कटर पिलर्स एंड जिप्सी मोथ लार्व नाउ डिजीज रेजिस्टेंस प्लांट थ्रू जेनेटिक इंजीनियरिंग there are many viruses fungi and bacteria that cause plant diseases plant biologists are working to create plants with genetically engineered resistance to these diseases genes that provide resistance against plant viruses have been successfully introduced into crop plants such as tobacco tomato rice potato etc there are transgenic tobacco plants which is expressing tobacco mosaic virus coat protein genes were first developed viral capsids inhibit viral replication of tobacco mosaic virus when infected virus coat protein mediated protection is successful for virus with ss rna now herbicide resistance technology another common type of genetic engineering is when genes for herbicide resistance are inserted into crops when herbicides are spread on field the weeds will be killed while the crops will survive due to the insertion of the resistance gene against herbicides genes for resistance against certain herbicides have been introduced into crop plants so they can thrive even when exposed to herbicides and this herbicide resistance technology is developed against the herbicides like glyphosate which is a non selective herbicide sulfonylurea imidazolins bromoxynilin atrazin and phenoxy carboxylic acid so these are the techniques which is developed when the weeds will be killed while a spray of these herbicides while the crops will be safe because that has been inserted with resistance genes antiviral strategy with genetic engineering tomeco mosaic virus coat protein inserted into tobacco and tomato plant cells during ti plasmids viral capsids inhibit viral replication of tomato mosaic virus when infected there are cucumber mosaic virus which is the most important viruses in agriculture 
more than 800 host plants are there for this virus absent the resistance gene in the germplasm of most crops so by the genetic engineering the antiviral strategy has been developed other trials using capsid proteins potato leaf roll virus cantaloupe mosaic virus and rice strip viruses are under conduction now salt tolerance through genetic engineering a large fraction of world's irrigated land cannot be used to grow most important crops due to increased salinity in soil researchers have created transgenic tomatoes that grew well in saline soils there are some transgene introduced which can be used to remove excess sodium in plant cells through vacuoles after that phytoremediation not all gm plants are grown as crops soil and groundwater pollution continues to be a problem in all parts of the world plants such as poplar tree have been genetically engineered to clean up heavy metal population from contaminated soils so phytoremediation is one of the process for the correction of metal pollution in soil by introducing such genes which is having the potential to remove the metal contents flavor sevr tomato is one of the great achievement of genetic engineering in agriculture most tomatoes have to be shipped to market or harvested before they are ripen otherwise ethylene synthesized by tomato causes them to ripen and spoil before they reach customers flavor sevr tomato have been constructed that express an artisan's mrna complementary to mrna for enzyme involved in ethylene production these tomatoes make only 10% of normal amount of enzyme by delaying ethylene production and the advantages of flavor sevr tomato is fruits having slower ripen rate ripen longer on wine fully developed flavors and increase the shelf life of tomato fruits pharmaceuticals and vaccines expression of hepatitis b surface antigen in transgenic plants has been observed tobacco plants were genetically transformed with gene encoding hepatitis b surface antigen hbs ag linked to a nominally constitutive promoter were generated recombinant hbs ag purified from transgenic plant had properties similar to human serum derived hbsg now edible vaccines vaccines consisting of transgenic plant derived antigens offer a new strategy for development of safe inexpensive vaccines the vaccine antigens can be eaten with the edible part of the plant or purified from plant material as rabies related tomato plants expressing rabies antigens could induce antibodies in mice then cholera transgenic potato with ctb gene of vibrio cholerae was shown to be efficacious in mice then norovac virus transgenic potato expressing norovac virus antigen showed zero conversion after that hepatitis b first human trials of a potato based vaccines against hepatitis b have reported encouraging results so genetic engineering also very very fruitful developing edible vaccines in plants here we have shown the list of transgenic crops and which are inoculated with trans genes and the target insect pest so various crops which are under transgenic category like alfalfa eggplant brassica canola chickpea cotton groundnut maize poplar potato rice sorghum soya bean sugarcane tobacco tomato tomato in various countries are having the different transgenes which are effective against a specific target insect pests development of bt cotton is one of the great achievement and milestone of genetic engineering in agriculture bt cotton is a genetically modified organism gmo or genetically modified pest resistant plant cotton variety which produces an insecticide or toxic substances to combat bollworm this is a genetically engineered form of natural cotton the main advantage of utilizing biotechnology in agriculture are the possibilities of increasing productivity 
through the use of newer varieties that possess properties such as resistance to pests of these measures imparting the property of insect resistance through the transfer of a gene from bacillus thuringiensis bt into target plants by modern biotech methods is presently considered to be one of the most advanced applications of biotechnology among the cotton paste bollworms heliothis armigera is the most dominant and difficult to control chiefly due to its widespread insecticide resistance multi volatile and prolific pattern of breeding and high polyphagy nature it is a highly destructive and wasteful feeder in the sense that a single larva can damage many squares and balls heliothis armigera has a wide distribution but is limited to the old world like europe asia russia africa australia and the pacific islands this species doesn't occur in the americas the species found in the america are helicorpa g heliothis virescens popularly called ball worm and tobacco bud worm now to study the scenario of bt cotton in india bacillus thuringiensis is a soil borne bacterium which is toxic to insect pests and safe to higher animals it is widely used as a bacterial insecticide cry genes from the bacteria determine the action against pests in india the first approvals to bt cotton were given to three hybrids released by myco monsanto biotech mmb the joint venture between myco and monsanto in 2002 these hybrids contained the bt gene cry 1 ac owned by the us firm monsanto which licensed the gene to mmb in india in 2006 the regulator genetic engineering approval committee gsc also approved three other gene constructs mbb's bolgard second which extracts cry 1 ac and cry 2 ab genes a modified cry 1 ac gene developed by iit kharagpur in collaboration with jk seeds and a fusion cry 1 ac and cry 1 ab genes sourced by nath seeds from the chinese academy of agriculture sciences so there are various genes which are used as a insect resistance in cotton now to study the chronology of bt cotton development in india it was started on 10th march 1995 where the department of biotechnology of the government of india permitted import of 100 grams of transgenic cotton variety cultivated in united states and it was imported to india in april 1998 monsanto myco tie up was taken place monsanto given permission for a small trials of bt cotton 100 grams per trial by department of biotechnology on november 28 1998 there were a lot of protest against bt cotton thousand of farmers occupied and burned down bt cotton field trials in karnataka is a part of operation cremation monsanto on january 6th 1999 bandana siva research foundation for science technology and ecology goes to the supreme court challenging the illegality of the field trials authorized by directorate of biotechnology regarding bt cotton in july 2000 myco allowed to conduct large scale field trials including seed production at 40 sites in 6 states on january 5th 2001 a 10 member delegation compromising usa judges and scientist met supreme court chief justice as anand to educate him and other members of the judiciary regarding biotechnology on 18th june 2001 there was open dialogue between monsanto and greenpeace and ministry of environment representative and farmers regarding bt development and concern related to impacts in long run on 19th june 2001 genetic engineering approval committee gsc extends field trials of bt cotton for one year more myco conducted large scale trials on 100 hectares in seven states in october 2001 Myco discovers commercial bt cotton farming over several thousand hectares in Gujarat 
which were illegally developed and cultivated. Source of the cotton is tracked back to Novarat Seeds Private Limited. Again in October 2001, GEAC orders BT cotton fields to be burnt in Gujarat, which were on illegal site. No action taken after farmers' protest order. In November 28, 2001, Jin Campaign files a case in the Delhi High Court, charging the government with negligence in allowing large-scale field trials to be conducted without appropriate monitoring, regulation, and safety precautions. On January 23, 2002, Dr. Manju Sarma, Secretary of Directorate of Biotechnology, declares that the latest round of BT cotton trials were satisfactory and that is it up to the GSC and Ministry of Environment to decide on a date of commercial release. On February 20, 2002, the Indian Council of Agriculture Research ICR submitted a positive report to the Ministry of Environment on the field trials of BT cotton. It was now expected that the Genetic Engineering and Approval Committee of the Environment Ministry will approve commercial use of BT cotton within a month. Here we have shown the picture which represents how the BT works. As a first step, caterpillar consumes foliage treated with BT which is having the spores and crystalline toxin. Second step, within minutes the toxin binds to a specific receptors in the gut wall and caterpillar stops feeding. In a third step, within hours the gut wall breaks down allowing spores and normal gut bacteria to enter the body cavity and the toxic dissolves throughout the body. As a fourth step, in one to two days, the caterpillar dies from septicemia as spores and gut bacteria proliferate in its blood. So this is the mechanism of control of insect pest in case of Bt cotton. One of the great milestone of genetic engineering is cotton is development of Roundup Ready Flex cotton, which is herbicide resistant technology. RRF denotes Roundup Ready Flex, which contains CP4 EPSPS gene, which is derived from soil bacterium Agrobacterium tumefaciens, which produces modified protein that allow the plant to tolerate application of Roundup glyphosate herbicide. Thus, while farmers cannot spray glyphosate in normal cotton crop, as the chemical cannot distinguish between weeds and the crop itself because of non-selective nature of Roundup glyphosate herbicide. Now, farmers can spray in RRF cotton. As RRF contains gene which is having resistance to Roundup glyphosate, so after a spray, the weeds will be killed and cotton plants will be unaffected. It will significantly help farmers for weed control and save time. This technology is still in trial and not approved by government of India. Rice is another crop where the genetic engineering has been the given the preference. There is development of golden rice. What is golden rice? Golden rice is a new type of rice that contains beta-carotene pro-vitamin A which is converted into vitamin A as needed by the body and gives the grain its golden color. It is developed through genetic engineering and produces two new enzymes that complete the beta-carotene expression in the rice grain. The vision of golden rice development was to create a good source of vitamin A to public, free of charge for the trade, easily available to them who wants to grow and consume, and additional interventions to combat vitamin A deficiency. Golden rice was one of the seven winners of the 2015 Patent for Humanity Awards by the United States Patent and Trademark Office. In 2018 came the first approvals as food in Australia, New Zealand, Canada and the USA. The Philippines now joins a select group of countries that have affirmed the safety of golden rice. A biosafety application was lodged in November 2017 and is currently undergoing review by the Biosafety Care Committee in Bangladesh also. 
द डाइग्राम हेयर रिप्रेजेंट्स द ट्रांसफर ऑफ द फॉरन जीन्स इन टू द राइस वाय वैक्टर एंड द फाइनल प्रोडक्ट द गोल्डन राइस गोल्डन राइस वॉज डेवलप्ड बाय जेनेटिकली मोडिफिकेशन यूजिंग रिकम्बिनेंट टेक्निक्स द राइस ऑफ ओरजा सेटाइवा स्पीसीज ऑफ राइस हैड इन कारपोरेटेड इन टू इट डी एन ए फ्रॉम बैक्टीरिया एंड डेफोडिल्स गोल्डन राइस वॉज क्रिएटेड बाई ट्रांसफॉर्मिंग राइस विथ टू बीटा कैरोटीन बायोसिंथेसिस जीन्स फर्स्ट वन इज पी एस वाई फाइट ऑन सिंथेज फ्रॉम डेफोडिल एंड सेकेंड सी आर टी एल फाइट ऑन डिसचुरेज फ्रॉम द सोयल बैक्टीरियम इर्विनिया यूरेडोवोरा द पिक्चर शोज हाउ टू मेक गोल्डन राइस देर आर फोर स्टेप्स इन्वॉल्व इन फर्स्ट स्टेप द जीन दैट गिव गोल्डन राइस इट्स एबिलिटी टू मेक बीटा करोटीन इन इट्स इंडोस्पॉर्म वेयर द इंटीरियर ऑफ द कर्नल कम्स फ्रॉम डेफोडिल्स एंड अ बैक्टीरियम कॉल्ड इर्विनिया यूरेडोवोरा इन सेकेंड स्टेप दीज जीन्स आफ्टर सिलेक्शन अलॉन्ग विथ प्रोमोटर्स विच आर द सेगमेंट्स ऑफ डी एन ए दैट एक्टिवेट जीन्स आर इंसर्टेड इन टू प्लाज्मिट्स दैट अकर इन साइड ए स्पीसीज ऑफ बैक्टीरियम नॉन एच एग्रो बैक्टीरियम टूफेसियंस इन थर्ड स्टेप दिज एग्रो बैक्टीरिया आर देन एडेड टू ए पेट्री डिश कंटेनिंग राइस एम्ब्रियोज एच दे इनफेक्ट द एम्ब्रियोज दे आल्सो ट्रांसफर द जीन्स दैट इन कोट इंस्ट्रक्शन फॉर मेकिंग बीटा कैरोटीन एज ए फोर्थ स्टेप द ट्रांसजेनिक राइस प्लांट्स मस्ट नाउ बी क्रॉस्ड विथ स्ट्रेंस ऑफ राइस दैट आर ग्रोन लोकली एंड आर सुटेड टू ए पर्टिकुलर रीजन क्लाइमेटिक कंडीशन एंड ग्रोइंग कंडीशन सो लेटर देर विल बी फाइनल प्रोडक्ट नाउ इन वेजिटेबल्स बीटी ब्रिंजल इज वन ऑफ द इम्पोर्टेंट माइल स्टोन ऑफ जेनेटिक इंजीनियरिंग इन एग्रीकल्चर द जेनेटिकली मोडिफाइड ब्रिंजल इज ए सूट ऑफ ट्रांसजेनिक ब्रिंजल विच इज ऑल्सो नॉन एज एग प्लांट क्रिएटेड बाई इंसर्टिंग ए क्रिस्टल प्रोटीन जीन क्राई वन ए सी फ्रॉम द सॉयल बैक्टीरियम बेसलेस थ्रिंगसिस इन टू द जीनोम ऑफ वेरियस ब्रिंजल कल्टिवार्स द इंसर्टन ऑफ द जीन अलॉन्ग विथ अदर जेनेटिक एलिमेंट्स सच एज प्रोमोटर्स टर्मिनेटर्स एंड एन एंटीबायोटिक रेजिस्टेंस मार्कर जीन इन टू द ब्रिंजल प्लांट इज एक्म्प्लिस्ड यूजिंग एग्रो बैक्टीरियम मीडिएटेड जेनेटिक ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन द बिटी ब्रिंजल हैज बिन डेवलप टू गिव रेजिस्टेंस अगेंस्ट लेपिडेप्टोरन इंसेक्ट्स इन पार्टिकुलरली द ब्रिंजल फ्रूट एंड सूट बोरर एज बिटी ब्रिंजल डेवलपमेंट इन इंडिया इज कंसर्न माइको विच इज एन इंडियन सीड कंपनी बेस्ड इन जालना महाराष्ट्र हैड डेवलप्ड द बिटी ब्रिंजल The genetically modified brinjal event was termed as event EE1, and Myco had also applied for approval of two brinjal hybrids. It was approved for commercialization in India in 2009, but after an apparent public outcry and rounds of debates in which representatives from Myco, the scientific community, and NGO spoke on the topic related to the. for toxicity to the public then indian environment minister jairam ramesh facilitated a moratorium on its release until further unspecified test work conducted following intense opposition from several states and farm activists announced an indefinite ban on the release of bt brinjal in 2010 bt brinjal was approved for commercial release in bangladesh in 2013 Till now we studied the benefits and milestones of genetic engineering in agriculture now turn to study threats and demerits of gm crops there are potential long term impacts expected so some consumer advocates and environmental groups have demanded abandonment of genetic engineering research and developments there are some issues and fear regarding negative impacts like first one health related issues second is environmental and ecological issues and third social issues about which we will study here as health related issues are there it is concerned to allergen and toxins antibiotic resistance unknown effects on human health and recent study found the cry 1 ab bt toxin in the blood of pregnant women and their fetus showing that it can cross the placental boundary and studies indicate 
राउंड अप मे बी टॉक्सिक टू मेमल्स एंड कूड इंटरफेयर विथ हारमोन्स सो बिकॉज ऑफ दिस देर आर सम थ्रेट्स एंड इशूज इन्वायरमेंटल एंड इकोलॉजिकल इशूज आर कंसर्न टू ग्रोइंग ऑफ जी एम क्रॉप्स मे लीड टू मोनोकल्चर द क्रिएशन ऑफ पेस्ट और हर्बिसाइड रेजिस्टेंट जी एम क्रॉप्स कुड रिजल्ट इन सुपर बग्स और सुपर विट्स रेजिस्टेंस डेवलपमेंट इन ए लॉन्ग रन रिड्यूस्ड इफेक्टिवनेस ऑफ पेस्टिसाइड्स जस्ट एज सम पॉपुलेशन ऑफ मॉस्किटोज डेवलप रेजिस्टेंस टू द बैंड पेस्टिसाइड डिडिटी मेनी पीपुल आर कंसर्न दैट इंसेक्ट्स विल बिकम रेजिस्टेंस टू बीटी और अदर क्रॉप्स दैट हैव बीन जेनेटिकली मॉडिफाइड टू प्रोड्यूस देयर ऑन पेस्टिसाइड्स मेनी इन्वायरमेंटलिस्ट इंक्लूडिंग फार्मर्स आर वेरी कंसर्न अबाउट लॉस ऑफ बायोडाइवर्सिटी इन आवर नेचुरल इन्वायरमेंट बिकॉज ऑफ एंटिसिपेटेड निगेटिव इम्पैक्ट्स अदर फियर एंड थ्रेट्स रिलेटेड टू जेनेटिक इंजीनियरिंग इज एफेक्ट ऑन नॉन टारगेट ऑर्गेनिजम्स एंड प्लांट्स इट मे बी टॉक्सिक टू हार्मलेस नॉन टारगेट स्पीसीज लॉन्ग टर्म एक्सपोजर टू पॉलॉन फ्रॉम जेनेटिकली मोडिफाइड इंसेक्ट रेजिस्टेंट मे इज कॉज एज एडवर्स इफेक्ट ऑन द बिहेवियर एंड सर्वाइवल ऑफ द मोनार्च बटरफ्लाई इट मे बी टॉक्सिक टू बेनिफिशियल इंसेक्ट्स जी एम बी टी क्रॉप्स एडवर्सली एफेक्ट बेनिफिशियल इंसेक्ट्स विच आर इम्पोर्टेंट इन कंट्रोलिंग मेज पेस्ट सच एज ग्रीन लेस विंग्स ए थ्रेट टू सोयल इको सिस्टम मेनी बी टी क्रॉप्स सिक्रेट देयर टॉक्सिन फ्रॉम देयर रूट्स इन टू द सोयल एंड रेजिजू लेफ्ट इन द फील्ड कंटेन द एक्टिव बी टी टॉक्सिन विच मे हॉर्म सोयल प्रॉपर्टीज एंड नेक्स्ट क्रॉप्स ट्रांसफर ऑफ द सेलेक्टेड जीन इन टू अदर स्पेसीज वाट बेनिफिट्स वन प्लांट मे हार्म अनदर अन इंटेंडेड हार्म टू अदर ऑर्गेनिजम्स बी टी टॉक्सिन इन कॉर्न किल मेनी स्पेसीज ऑफ इंसेक्ट लार्वा इनडिसक्रिमेटली इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल टू डिजाइन ए बी टी टॉक्सिन दैट वुड ओनली कीप क्रॉप डैमेजिंग पेस्ट एंड रिमेन हार्मलेस टू ऑल अदर इंसेक्ट्स द पोटेंशियल रिस्क ऑफ हार्म टू नॉन टारगेट ऑर्गेनिजम्स विल नीड टू बी एवेलुएटेड फर्दर Other introduced genes may cross over into non-modified crops planted next to GM crops. This would ultimately affect the surroundings environment on flora and fauna biodiversity. There are some social issues related to genetic engineering which cause fear and risks like labeling. Some consumer group have concern that food derived from genetically engineered derived crops should carry a a special level of gm produce other is terminator technology most farmers purchase fresh seeds each season any one growing hybrid varieties must buy new seeds annually because the seed from last year hybrids grown on the farm will not produce plants identical to the plants because of this farmers will be forced to purchase new seeds is they cannot utilize their own saved seed from harvested produce so these are the social concerns now is a conclusion for the role of genetic engineering in agriculture genetically modified foods have the potential to solve many of the world's hunger and malnutrition problems and to help protect and preserve the environment by increasing yield and reducing reliance upon chemical pesticides and herbicides yet there are many challenges ahead for governments especially in the areas of safety testing regulation international policy and food labeling many people feel that genetic engineering is the inevitable way of the future and what we cannot afford to ignore a technology that has such enormous potential benefits however we must proceed with caution to avoid causing unintended harm to human health and the environment as a result of our enthusiasm for this powerful technology at the present time genetically modified foods impacts to be evaluated for wide acceptance for the world that we live in not just for its people but the delicate balance between organisms that inhabit it so this presentation was all about genetic engineering in agriculture hope this will be very very helpful to all of you now my presentation ends here thank you very much i have given here my youtube channel details journey with bijay kumar srivastava having request please visit the channel subscribe it 
एंड प्रोवाइड योर काइंड एंड वेल्यूबल फीडबैक फॉर फर्दर इंप्रूवमेंट्स इन नेक्स्ट कमिंग प्रेजेंटेशंस थैंक यू